Boya Cube defend their project in brilliance amid excitement for success. They defended this July 16, 2024 at the school campus. Bishop Michael Bibi donates a million francs CFA for the away football tournament. The games aimed at fostering peace have kicked off in that village. And Cadet of Mary wrap up a four-day jamboree at Bishop Rogan Minor Seminary with focus on her nursing and exhibiting the skills of the youth. Those were our top stories and news and details in the minutes ahead. It is Tuesday, July 16, 2024. Many thanks for joining us on today's edition of Divine Mercy Prime. I am Sama Eileen. Exciting achievements was uh, the order of the day at Catholic University Institute of Boyer as students from Civil Engineering Technology and uh, the School of Information Technology dazzled with their final year projects. After a vigorous defense this day, July 16, 2024, they are poised to apply their research in real world situations. Naresh May was there and now tells us more. As early as 9 a.m. Tuesday, July 16, 2024, students of Bachelor of Technology in School of Business and School of Information Technology, Kalik University Institute of Boya Campus, had begun defending their final year project in the presence of academic staffs, family members, and friends. We are going to pick one, and we successfully saw that the logistic arrangement performed better, so we chose that. It is important that you get expertise, people who are well knowledgeable about the skills, and you also have to do, I also have to uh, make a uh, recommendation on material selection. Technology's role in language learning and communication, how different people have utilized technology to impact language. From the School of Business and School of Information Technology, the defense performance was excellent. The chairperson in charge of Bachelor of Technology students in the School of Business, Mukete Emmanuel, at the end of the exercise, congratulated the students for a job well done while encouraging them to have a close collaboration with their supervisor and a mastery of their work. Well, I think it's uh, an important exercise and it's also one of the flagship traditions which Catholic Universities of Boya has been putting has put in place with respect to start training the students to have an experience with public defense for them to be able to explain this on Okaya's scientific research and then come and defend it in front of members of panels where they are going to interact with them and also educate them on certain aspects on how to go about it so that subsequently in the future they'll be able to carry out such exercise with ease. I also want to advise that this exercise is a learning exercise, it's an academic exercise which implies that learning continues. So they should take it as a learning process, they learn what they are able to gather from the exercise and put it in practice for subsequent defense that they have in the future. While coming as a relief to them, some students voiced out their challenges and how they overcome them in the course of their final year project. I had issues with actually coming out with uh, the particular type of project that would be suitable for the town of Boya because my case study was for Boya. And so I had that issue, but then after consulting with a lot of people and asking them how possible can this thing be, they had to give me direction which I could pull through. And some of them did not even answer, they didn't even answer my questionnaire, yeah. so it was a challenging thing for me. I was patient enough to go through another one that would be able to help me to do what I was asked to. The final year students defended their project under different discourse. Defending their project, thereby explaining their understanding of what they learned during their research. The jury scrutinized this project, making sure these students understand their various fields and focus. Some of the students expanded on what is expected after their presentation. After this, I, I will still do some internships because, again, I'm still new to the market. 
so I believe I still need to do some internships and I, ha I have more to learn. After now, we are looking up to the, the active world outside there because outside there is not like in school. We are into, we are now exposed to, okay, yes, you, have, uh, you, are, you are done with your defense. Now, what can you do next? So we are looking up to building more skills as far as civil engineering is concerned. With these topics presented and approved with good grades, it is safe to say that the Kalik University Institute of Boya is sending out professionals who will positively influence the job market and develop the society. A four-day cadet rally of the Diocese of Boya that took place at the Bishop Rogan Minor Seminary last weekend served an opportunity for the youths to exhibit some of their handwork and skills. It was also a get-together that enabled them to take part in competitions such as chorus singing, drama, debates, dances, and many other activities. Jamilatu Tongtang has details. Before this cadet rally of the Diocese of Boya that took place at the Bishop Rogan Minor Seminary was an opportunity for cadetians to showcase some of the things their hands and skills could reproduce. This exhibition session was made with the aim of gaining some earnings which will in turn reduce costs on parents and parishes as a whole. It was also an opportunity for some who were yet to catch the hustling spirit to put their brains and subsequently skills together so as to do something for themselves that could fetch them some money just like the others did during the rally. The diocesan president for St. Charles Luanga Parish, Coco Eswa, alongside Issa Marie of All Saint Parish Motengene, shared their views on some of the activities carried out and latest developments arrived at during this year's cadet session. Happy we came out of, uh, of the cadet room as a the rally. Cadets, most of the most of them were new who came for the rally this time around, and they really had a great experience. We had several activities like ballet, Bible quiz, drama, exhibition, art talk, promotion, promotion, the talk to rally, which are very permitted to the children who have not had the opportunity to go for completion because of the, the attached schedule in school to be able to, to go for completion. This rally was good because he, it brought together the some cadets of the Diocese of Boya. It taught us prayers, we were encouraged by some prayers and actions, both from the debate, Bible quiz, everything, and we came to showcase our talents. So it's an encouragement to all Christians who are out there that we should belong in the prayer and action group. On the other hand, the diocesan youth chaplain Reverend Father Anson KB explains the challenge of having to handle a good number of youths within the duration of four days. I've had a four days fruitful encounter with the cadets of the Diocese of Boya. It has not all been smooth. We have had some challenges as usual working with the young people issues of uh, some indiscipline but which has not been more than us to handle and we thank God that uh, today we have come to the end of this uh, four days come together we have been here since Thursday and I am grateful to all the children who made the sacrifice leaving their parishes to uh, be here for these activities some of them did holidays job to raise funds to be part and parcel of these activities so it has been really an enormous sacrifice on their path. We thank their parish priests and chaplains who supported them to be here and their parents who also supported them financially and granted them the permission to be part and parcel of this uh, uh, come together. Founding sisters of the cadets of this diocese, Sister Maria Gorotti, who was one of the uh, founding sisters of Cadet of Mary in this diocese with uh, alongside uh, Bishop Pius to our of blessed memory who gave a talk, a very profound talk to the young people at the end of this camp together. That was really a highlight of this camp together. We had debates, we were having choral music, we were having drama, we had uh, ballet dance and also exhibition of which the cadets from various parishes they express what they do in order to gain the income or to have something that they can sustain themselves, not only to depend on the parents and also like to ask the parishes or the, the parish priests for a second basket. And from all these activities, 
I think, and I know that for those that are really serious, but not all of them if they are really serious, for those that are really serious, they have picked up a lot that are going that is going to help them to be able, I mean, to, to help their parents in their house. Because no matter from what the exhibition that they, uh, that they carry out was something that was really practical. And if they are doing it, even they can teach the younger ones in their house. And even like some people, not all of them, they, because also we are encouraging them to, like in vocation, to search for their vocation, either in religious life, marriage life, and all the rest. In a marital life, maybe for those that have even like learned those talents, at least it can help them to even to sustain their family. The Cadet Rally is a yearly get-together of young girls and boys who intend to follow after the footsteps of Mary. These youth, gathered in small support for four days, carrying out activities and competitions in choral singing, drama, debate, and many others, thereby making their individual stay an impactful one to them, their families, and parishes in general. Moving on, the world at large commemorates the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel today and the members of the Catholic Women Association belonging to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Division here in Boya celebrated the day in a very conspicuous way within the context of the Diamond Jubilee of the Catholic Women Association in Cameroon which is nearby. This took place early this morning at St. Anthony of Padua Parish, Boya Town. Reverend Father Njia Moka compiled the following for us. A memorial, just like a Catholic feast day in the simplest of ways, is any day when something or someone important to the Catholic faith is remembered or celebrated. As Holy Mother Church celebrates the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel today, the members of the Catholic Women Association, the CWA, belonging to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Division, Boya, all converged on St. Antonio of Padua Parish, Boya Town, to celebrate this day, which happens to be that of their patron saint, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Historically and biblically, Sacred scripture speaks of the beauty of Mount Carmel where the prophet Elijah defended the faith of the people of Israel in the living God. In the 12th century, a group of Hermits settled there and afterwards set up the Carmelite order to lead a contemplative life under the patronage of the Holy Mother of God. The celebration of this feast day observed annually was done this time around in the context of the celebration of the Diamond Jubilee of the Catholic Women Association in Cameroon come the 24th of July 2024. Mrs. Mary Anna Chimolo, Divisional President of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Division Boya, enunciates the eudaimonia, a combination of well-being, happiness, and flourishing of the Catholic Women Association, and how fortunate and privileged they consider themselves as the CWA clocks 60 years of existence. Today, the women of Catholic Women's Association, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Division, are celebrating their feast, the feast of their patron saint, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So we assembled here at our main parish, St. Antonio of Padua, Boya Town, to commemorate this memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And we are doing this in the context of the celebration of our Diamond Jubilee that will be coming up on the 24th of July. So this division has two parishes, the St. Martin the Forest Parish in Bukwango and St. Anthony of Par Padua Parish in Boya Town. Their jurisdiction starts from Bova to Buasa. So all the women from this jurisdiction, they came this morning to have the celebration in remembrance of this feast and it is always done every year to celebrate our feast we assemble in one parish to celebrate our feast so we are thankful today that we are doing this in the context of the diamond jubilee celebration and all cwa members will be coming all over the world to boya and to the birthplace of CWA, which is our division, Mount Carmel Division, in St. Antonio of Padua here in Boya Town.
in a bid to properly prepare physically and spiritually to the joy of the moment, some major preoccupations such as prayers, charitable gestures including the corporal works of mercy, feeding the hungry, harboring the homeless, giving water to the thirsty, visitation of prisoners, cleaning of the national environment, and the streets as a whole have been recorded and regarded as some of the spiritual and physical achievements of the CWA as they prepare to celebrate their Diamond Jubilee. Like the cherubims and seraphims, the members of the Catholic Women Association all joined the chorus in exultant praise to God as the word feast from the Latin festus meaning joy and uh, symbolizing a time of celebration clearly indicates. Virgin Maria, you are the Virgin Maria. Virgin Maria, you are the Virgin Maria. Virgin Maria, you are the Virgin Maria. Reverend Father Martin Jair reporting there. Now another session of uh, the weekly televised catechetica program of the proper teacher of the Catholic faith, His Lordship Michael Bibi, Bishop of Boya, took place uh, yesterday at All Saints Parish Mutengene. The teacher capitalized his uh, catechesis on the sanctifying office of uh, the church and uh, the event witnessed a massive attendance on the side of an active audience. Reverend Father Martin Chair once again. To sanctify from the Latin sanctus meaning holy is to set apart or declare holy. It is to make legitimate or binding by a religious ceremony. Found in the Catholic Church is the teaching office of the church, the sanctifying office and the governing office of the church. As a point of focus for today's catechesis, the proper teacher of the Catholic faith, His Lordship Michael Bibi, focused on the sanctifying office of the church. He noted that the church affects the sanctifying office through the celebration of the sacred liturgy according to laid down liturgical norms, through the celebration of the sacraments, the observance of different works of charity, such as the corporal works of mercy and true prayer. As a prerequisite to the sanctifying office of the church is the celebration of the liturgy, the prelate noted. The church is carry out the sanctifying office of church through the celebration of the sacred liturgy. We don't talk say for define that word liturgy. We talk say liturgy it being at the official public worship of the church. Teaching on the seven sacraments as a whole, the prelate indicated that the sacraments were instituted by Christ and entrusted to the church, and they are signs and means by which faith is expressed and strengthened. Worship is offered to God and human sanctification is brought about. We know so we get the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of confession. We, when we don't see and so we live inside, but in the spirit of humility, we go and we get that sacrament of confession with the elevator, take away with bad in order to make we for be holy. And we also be holy when we carry out charitable acts to us with brothers and with sisters. So my dear brothers and sisters, it be important for we for no say the sanctifying office for the church. Now the office we it make them make the people of God them be able for grow for inside holiness. How they grow for inside holiness through the celebration of the sacred liturgy. And we know so the highest form for that celebration, not the sacrifice of the Mass. Citing paragraph 14 and 48 of the Second Vatican Council document on the sacred liturgy, Sacrosanctum Concilium, the prelate reiterated the necessity for a full, active, and conscious participation in the liturgy, especially on the part of the lay faithful. 
Our attendance was massive and active with many questions posed to the teacher of the faith for answers. Feedbacks were equally inevitable at the end of the session. Today I was particularly touched on the teaching of the sacraments because there are many Catholic Christians who do not know the importance of this sacrament. So what really touched me most was that he took time to explain, especially the sacrament of Christian initiation, which all Christians are supposed to have. The bishop takes on board another session of unveiling the faith to the understanding of the Christian faithful this week. Moving on, the population of uh, Owe under the Muyoka subdivision have copied from their neighbors Ikata to preach peace and unity through football. This as the solicits the Bishop of Boya to extend the Bishop's tournament for peace in their community. The games in that community have started with a donation of a million francs CFA by the prelate. Aloysius Alike now gives us a details of this competition which just started. The inhabitants of Owe under the Muyuka subdivision are involved in a holiday interquarter competition duped the Bishop Michael BB interquarter tournament for peace. The initiative began at Ikata when the bishop, after seeing the plight of the people who have been greatly affected by the ongoing conflict rocking the northwest and the southwest regions, brought in the Unity Cup, a way of preaching love, unity, togetherness, and peace amongst the Christians. With Ikata already getting into the third edition, for the Frank Bio says Owe had to copy from the love and unity reigning at Ikata and pleaded with the Bishop of Boya to extend the peace and unity tournament to their community. It's a way of bringing peace, bringing stability, bringing tranquility, bringing solidarity, communion and togetherness in the village. And as you can see, the people of, of Owe are very happy. The people of Owe, they thank the bishop enormously for this wonderful show of magnanimity and generosity that he has showered upon them. And the people of, of Owe, they equally want to tell the bishop that they are solidly behind him and that they are ready to support him till the end. So the message of the bishop to the people of Owe is a message of love, is a message of peace, is a message of togetherness and is a message of communion. The competition that will run to the end of August 2024 will pit quarters against each other and players and coaches of the themes are grateful to the Bishop of Boya for extending the Bishop's Cup to their community. We are the thank the Bishop for this good gesture we don't do them. For the match, the match will be very, very tough. Yes, but I thank my member, my, my players, them. They prove them for me, say them they. I the promise the bishop, me, like I have seen the coach of Junior Veteran, say this cup, me, they just got Prince Junior Veteran because I don't take him already. I'll be happy with the bishop because it organized a youth for OWE for this 2024 holiday for joy. Just like the players and coaches, the chief of Owe and the organizing president are also thankful to the Catholic Church through Bishop Michael Beebe for bringing the Bishop Michael Beebe tournament for peace in their community and pray that the youth should continue to stay in love, unity and peace should reign in their community. We're there today because uh, His Lordship Bishop Michael Beebe don't put Interquarter Cup for Owe for one million francs for peace and we we'll be very happy. I talk about the team then say make the make the guy fair play. Make the play make fight no be. Because if we get fair play, Pi Bishop remember we all time. And you tell Pi Bishop say I thank you for this time for crisis way. It don't make us become football and peace. It's a guy that we may not forget we at least every year make it make a man will be will, will be happy. So God will forget some certain things that we had. We gather here today for uh, Bishop BB Scops that he have been put to gather the, the children together in order to make the, the community to boom as is usually do at Ekata, Bafia, Miyenge. So we are begging him that he should continue to be doing this as possible as any time as he fits to do. 
The Bishop Michael Interquarter Tournament for Peace will see the winning teams going home with the sum of a million francs CFA that will greatly help these youths who lost their livelihood during the crisis. As the teams anticipate to carry home the cash prize, let peace reign in Owe. <laughs> Now on to our foreign page. 66-year-old Paul Kagame of Rwanda is poised for fourth term with 99.15% of the vote in provisional resorts, which mirrored the outcome in 2017 when Kagame won nearly 99% of the vote. And China and Russia hold naval drees after NATO accusations of China's influence on the Ukrainian issue. The DREES would include anti-missile exercises, sea strikes, and uh, air defense. Get the details of these stories and more in the subsequent report. Health workers in Ivory Coast began vaccinations on Monday against malaria, the leading cause of death of children in the country and Africa in general, as the government added the malaria vaccine to, to the list of routine vaccinations for children. The West African country became the first to start ruling out the newest shot targeting malaria in an effort that aims to cover about 250,000 children under two. At a ceremony to mark the launching of the vaccination campaign, Health Minister Pierre Demba said this decision shows the engagement of the government who make it a point of honor to invest in the health of Ivorian children, the most precious treasures. The three-dose vaccine known as R21 Matrix M was developed by Britain's Oxford University and was authorized by the World Health Organization, WHO, last October. President Paul Kagame has won 99% of the vote in provisional results from Monday's presidential election in Rwanda, electoral authorities said, an outcome that was widely expected as the country's long-term ruler aims to extend his three-decade grip on power. Kagame's opponents, Frank Habineza of the Democratic Green Party of Rwanda and independent candidate Philippe Payimana were collectively getting under 1% of the vote in provisional results accounting for 79% of all ballots cast. The result mirrored the outcome in 2017 when Kagame took nearly 99% of the vote. Elsewhere, China and Russia are conducting joint naval exercises at a military port in southern China. This comes as tensions with the U.S.-led NATO alliance grow. The joint C-2024 exercises began in the city of Changjiang in Guangdong province on Sunday and are expected to last until mid-July. According to the Chinese Defense Ministry, the exercises aim to, to demonstrate the resolve and capabilities of the two sides in jointly addressing maritime and security threats and preserving global and regional peace and stability. Over to Congo now, where authorities say the country will not require the withdrawal of UN peacekeepers from its North Kivu province due to the presence of Rwandan forces and Rwanda-backed M23 rebels. Foreign Minister Therese Kaikwamba Wagna said that the situation in the east of the country was not conducive for a troop pullout. A UN report said this week, three to 4,000 Rwandan troops were fighting the Congolese army and overseas rebel operations. Many thanks for viewing, dear uh, viewers. Uh, that concludes this edition of Divine Mercy Prime. But before we go, we remind you of our top stories. Some final year students of the Catholic uh, University Institute of Boya Cube defend their projects in brilliance amidst excitement for success. They defended this uh, July 16, 2024 at the school campus. Bishop Michael Bibi donate a million francs CFA for the OWE football tournament. The games aimed at fostering peace have kicked off in the village. 
and cadet of Mary wrap up a four-day jamboree at a Bishop Rogan minor seminary which focus on her nursing and exhibiting the skills of the youths. Have a blessed night. Video we'll stay tuned to more amazing programs coming up on Divine Mercy Radio and Television this day. I have been Samaileen. Bye for now. Stay blessed. <laughs>